we stand prepared to be flexible and pragmatic, should circumstances warrant it, we will stick to our low tax plan to create jobs and economic growth. I'm Nancy Wilson. Evan is on house duty today. That, of course, was Finance Minister Jim Flaherty this morning. Some bad news on the economic front today. November's employment numbers show the economy shedding more than 18,000 jobs. That's the second bad month in a row, pushing unemployment to 7.4 percent, and that's up 0.1 percent. The news came as a surprise to economists, especially after Wednesday's surprising jump in GDP. So here's the question. How strong is the Canadian economy? And is economic growth helping if Canadians keep losing jobs? I want to bring in Massimo Pacetti uh, just to get your read on the latest numbers. How grim are they? Is it a blip? What do you think? Well, no, it's, it's very grim. I mean, it's, it's numbers that we've expected. Uh, we've been calling for, uh, you know, f for the government to be more flexible. The funniest thing I've heard so far was you open up with a clip saying that we've, uh, with the Minister Flaherty saying we're going to be very flexible. That's the last thing this government has been. Mm. They talk about uh, this great uh, job plan that they have, but all they've been doing in the House of Commons is introducing bills on, on increasing the size of the House of Commons, on uh, crime bills that are going to just create jobs in building prisons, and that's not going to happen for another while, or giving a whole bunch of money f to the Americans for building F-35. So that's the only stimulus that we see. If you look at the numbers, they're, it's very, uh, it's very distressed mm -hmm. because Canada is a is a ca is a country that relies on it on its exports. So they're reliant on what's happening uh, elsewhere, other than w uh, within Canada. And we, we see uh, around the world where the economies are suffering. So to be in denial to say that uh, everything is rosy and uh, going well, I don't see how that's happening. We look at numbers. If we break them down, uh, right. numbers have gone down in the past whether it be full-time, part-time, the, the, the government can spend it uh, uh, in every, any way in which it pleases. If you look at uh, since 2006, since mm -hmm. this government, the Conservative government has been in power, Canadian jobs, we've lost over half a million, dollar, million jobs in this country. So, uh, the manufacturing okay. sector has suffered, service sector has suffered, you name it. Uh, and that's the reason, as Mr. Julian just said, that's the reason the uh, Canadians are suffering in, uh, with debt uh, way over their head. All right. That's fine, but I do want to bring in Massimo, uh, Massimo Pacetti one more time. If we are in the budget consultation process, what right. would be your advice uh, to the finance minister? Peter well, Julian says that things are, are pretty grim and, and that there's a serious rethink required. What about you? Just a bit of background. I, I mean, I, I used to chair the finance committee when we were in power with the Liberal government, and we, we had a totally different approach than the Conservative government. Mm -hmm. We used these pre-budget consultation to actually consult with Canadians. Uh, forecasting is not, is not a science, it's not based on pure science, but you know, there, there are ways to calculate what uh, growth is going to be, what uh, unemployment is expected, and it's not going to be 100% accurate. Right. So what you do is you build in a contingency. And so there's supposed to be a contingency plan, which this government doesn't have. The, we've been crying for right. the government to not tax Canadians. They've, they're coming okay. out with an increase in unemployment mm -hmm. uh, premiums, and that is a job killer. We already know that. And we've asked them, at, uh, I don't know how many times in the House right. of Commons, to not do that. This is all part of the pre-budget consultation. All right. Again, the minister does not listen to anyone, just like the rest of the ministers and, or the prime minister. So there is an opportunity. Right. If they want to listen to somebody do something, all they have to do is not increase UI premiums in the next uh, 12, 30 days uh, effect of January 1st, and that will, will, will at least alliviate some of the pressure. We'll and have to, to kind of slow down we'll some of the Nancy, Nancy, if I, if I can know, say something. Gentlemen, you know what? We'll bring you work. back for another debate for sure, but that has to be it for now. I do think that the pre budget debate is well launched. And, and gentlemen, I thank you all for your time today. Thank, thank you. you. Mark thank Adler, you. Peter Thanks, Julian, Nancy. Massimo Pacetti.